Hello everyone. I welcome you all for today's session on Introduction to Electronics Engineering. I am your friend Mahadev, Assistant Professor in the Department of ENC at Dayanand Sagar Academy of Technology and Management. In today's session, we will be covering a topic on Operational Amplifier, a Lecture 2. Before going to the detail, share this with your friends for their benefits. In today's topic, we'll be covering about operational amplifier configurations, operational amplifier applications. First, today's topic on operational amplifier configuration, the first one is inverting amplifier. And this is the configuration of the inverting amplifier. You can observe the negative terminal is given to the VIN through the resistance R1 and a feedback resistor is connected across the output through the point G here. Whereas positive terminal is connected to the ground. So this configuration is called as inverting amplifier. Since it is given, the input is given to the negative terminal, the output is in 180 degree phase shift there. So that is the reason we call this one as inverting amplifier. Now let us theoretically prove this one there. Okay, so now here, the point G is called as virtual ground concept here because whatever the potential is present at this particular point, the same potential is present across the point G there. So what happens is that the current entering the node G is equal to the current leaving the node G there. Okay, so now let us see. So I1 is equal to IF. What is I1 now? Applying the nodal analysis, V in minus VG divided by R1. VG minus V out divided by RF, where VG is what virtual ground. So VG is equal to zero. So V in minus zero divided by R1, which is equal to zero minus V out divided by RF. So V in by R1 is equal to minus V out by RF. Bring this VN down and RF to the left hand side. So what happens is RF by R1 is equal to minus V out by V in. We can rearrange this one as V out by V in is equal to minus RF by R1 which is nothing but the gain expression. So the gain is minus RF by R1 or V out is equal to minus AV into VN. This is the output expression for the inverting amplifier. And you can observe, we got the negative symbol there. That is the reason we are getting the 180 degree phase shift. Okay, now since the input was given to the negative terminal, so we got the output as negative. This is the reason we call this one as inverting amplifier. Now let us see about a concept of non-inverting amplifier. So this is the configuration of the non-inverting amplifier where the supply is given to the positive terminal and the negative term is connected to the ground through the resistance R1. Now since you can observe the current is coming from the V out to the point G and going to the ground there. As we know, the input impedance is very, very high. No current enters the op amp. Okay, now with this particular concept, let us derive the expression for the non inverting amplifier. Now, since the signal is given to the positive terminal, it will be in the same phase as you can observe it here, but with the amplified output. So the green one is the input voltage and the red one is the output voltage there. Now let us prove this one. Now, as we already known, this one as point G as virtual ground concept. So I1, entering the node G is equal to IF leaving the node that is, sorry. So IF entering the node G is equal to I1 leaving the node G there. So I1 is equal to IF. So I1 is what? It is zero minus VG divided by R1, VG minus V out divided by RF. But VG is what? V in, the potential across this particular terminal. So substituting VG, so we get minus V in by R1 is equal to V in minus V out by RF. Bringing this RF this side and V in down, minus RF by R1 is equal to V in minus V out divided by V in. Taking the common parameters, we get minus RF by R1 is equal to 1 minus V out by V in. Rearranging the output function here, that is V out by V in is equal to 1 plus RF by R1. How? Bring this to the left hand side and putting this RF by R1 to the right hand side. So we get V out by V in is equal to 1 plus RF by R1. And this is the ratio of voltage gain there. So voltage gain is given by 1 plus RF by R1 there. Or V out is equal to V in into 1 plus RF by R1. 
this is the output function of the non inverting amplifier now since this is connected to the non positive terminal the result is in positive is in the same phase there okay so this is about non inverting amplifier now let us study about the concept of integrator there a circuit in which the output voltage waveform is the time integral of the input voltage waveform is called as integrator or integrating amplifier now here if you observe what is the changes done here is the feedback is given with the help of a capacitor as we know the capacitor function is to get charged so it is charging slowly there okay and then discharges so this is the following configuration of the integrator because the function of the capacitor is called as integrator there since it, the output is charging slowly and discharging slowly so during positive cycle what you can observe discharging there and negative cycle it is charging why because the supply is connected to the negative terminal there okay now let us see the derivation of the integration of amp as we can see because of the virtual ground concept i is equal to if where if is the charge taken by the capacitor to charge so it is dq by dt where q is nothing but cv c is what potential difference between the g and the v out there now by writing the expression of the nodal analysis we get v in minus vg divided by r which is equal to c into dq that is d of vg minus v out divided by dt there okay now if you observe vg is what virtual ground vg is equal to 0 because of the potential present here so substitute the value of that one we get v in minus 0 divided by r1 is equal to c into d by dt 0 minus v out next rearranging the expression if you observe v in by rc is equal to minus d by dt into v out bring this integration differentiation to the right, left hand side we get integration there so v out is what Minus one by R C integration of V in dot D T there. Since it is negative, that's why you can observe during positive we are getting negative there, and during negative we are getting positive there. Okay, that's the reason we call this one as of amp as an integrator, charging, charging, discharging. Okay. Now let us understand the differentiator concept. Here in the circuit configuration of the differentiator, it's similar to that of an integrator. The only difference is that. Resistor and capacitors are interchanged there. Okay, so the capacitor comes at the input and the resistor comes at the feedback. That's the small change what we have. And differentiator is what wherever there is a change, the output is changed. So you can observe here the change over happens, the output is changed. And here also change over is happening, the output is changed. The remaining thing it is constant, the output is also constant there. So this is the differentiator figure what we have for the input and the output there. Now let us see the derivation of the differentiator the virtual ground concept here also we can apply here where i is equal to if i is what dq by dt if is what vg minus v out divided by r but q is what cv substituting the values here we are getting c into d by dt v in minus vg which is equal to vg minus v out by r but vg is zero so zero minus v out by v r is equal to c into d by dt into v in minus 0 so what we have now here is minus v out by r is equal to c into d by dt of v in bring r this side and negative sign this side so we get output is equal to minus rc differentiation of v in with respect to time so this is the functionality theoretically we got it for the differentiator there okay now let us see the next concept of an op amp acting like a adder there adder means what adding two signals here so if you observe the inverting terminal is connected to v1 and v2 through r1 and r2 respectively there and i1 and i2 are the respective current flowing across r1 and r2 okay so v1 here if you observe sine wave is applied v2 we have square wave the output of adding this two we are getting this particular shape if you observe this is connected to the negative terminal adding this value with the sine wave okay so we get one sine here but since this is a negative terminal so this positive is becoming negative here and this negative is becoming positive here okay but this is in the negative side because of the inverting terminal there that is the adder functionality for the waveform there now let us see the derivation for this particular adder there okay so at point g 
there are two currents entering i1 plus i2 which is equal to leaving current if what is i1 it is v1 minus vg divided by r1 v2 minus vg divided by r2 which is equal to vg minus v out by rf but vg is zero because of virtual ground potential across this is same as potential across this so v1 minus zero divided by r1 plus v2 minus zero divided by r2 which is equal to zero minus v out by rf so v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 is equal to minus v out by rf bringing this rf this side so we get v out is equal to minus rf into v1 by r1 plus v2 by r2 if we consider r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r is equal to rf then rr gets cancelled here so what is left so v out is equal to minus v1 minus of v1 plus v2 so this v1 plus v2 is what adder function or a summer function that's why op amp is acting like a adder there or summer since it is connected to the negative uh, negative terminal so we are getting the output as negative there okay now let us see the op amp as a voltage follower what is the voltage follower following the input whatever you are giving same output we have to get it so this is the concept of voltage follower there okay here if you see the positive terminal is given the supply and negative terminal is connected to the feedback okay now without any register now because of the virtual ground concept whatever the potential is present here is same potential across vg there so vg is equal to v in but vg is directly connected to the output without any register so v out is equal to vg is equal to v in this shows that the output is just following the input since it is connected to the positive terminal it is in the same phase there that's why it is called as voltage follower now let us see old op amp as a comparator okay now two separate voltages applied to the input terminal without any feedback okay as shown here so v1 and v2 connected to plus vcc and minus vee output is v out so if i see v1 is across the unit step function there v2 is sine wave so comparing at the respective position we get the output as pulse here so this is the respective output of a comparator what we are going to get it so comparing at each and every stage we get the respective output okay now as we already seen the operational amplifier parameters now let us study all these concepts in the detail there the first concept here of operational amplifier parameters what we have here is common mode rejection ratio it is defined as the ratio of differential gain to that of a common mode gain there and it is expressed as cmrr is equal to ad by ac where ad is differential gain ac is common mode gain there it is called rejection ratio because when it is up, when the common inputs are given it becomes the output as almost all equal to zero how it is rejecting that one that's the reason we call this one common mode rejection ratio there differential it just passes out by amplifying the signal there okay generally is expressed in db and the ideal value of the mu a741 op amp is 90 db there okay next is slew rate slew rate is what it is defined as the maximum rate of change of output voltage with respect to time it is expressed in voltage per microsecond where slew rate is sr is equal to dv out by dt the maximum value there the ideal value for the mu a741 ic is 0.5 volts per microsecond next one is power supply rejection ratio it is defined as the ratio of change in the input offset voltage due to the change in the supply voltage it is expressed as pssr is equal to vios divided by vc by keeping ve constant or pssr is equal to vios divided by delta v by keeping vcc kept constant the ideal value of pssr that is power supply rejection ratio for the op amp us n41 is 13 microvolts per volts another definition of operational amplifier parameters are input offset voltage here the dc voltage which makes the output voltage to become zero when the other terminals are ground is called as input offset voltage there okay so what is the minimum voltage that need to be given such that the output becomes zero and such minimum voltage is called as input offset voltage similarly we have output offset voltage when both the input terminals are shorted and connected to the ground a small amount of voltage Occurs across the output terminal, but practically should be zero. But due to the practical condition, there will be a small DC voltage, and that DC voltage is known as output offset voltage. These are the parameters what we have. Next one, what we have is input bias 
current it is defined as the average value of the individual current flowing in the inverting and non inverting terminal so it is defined as ib is equal to ib1 minus ib2 divided by 2 this is the average of that one so these are the different operational amplifier parameters what we have there questions i will reply to your questions if you like my video subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon for further notification and share with your friends for their benefits and those who are in need thank you